the Abscondo Podcast. So I had something of an epiphany over the past couple days, and I wanted to share this with you uh, over a short podcast today. How do we talk to people? How do we, meaning those of us who have sort of awakened from uh, the mainstream narrative, you know, no longer trust the media, no longer trust the government, no longer trust the healthcare system for various reasons we understand. How do we go about talking with those who do? You know, whether it's on social media or whether it's friends and family, um, you know, what's the best way, you know, are, are we meant to, to argue with people or just or post uh, conspiracy theories that we that we believe in? Or how do we handle this? And, and I bring it up because there's a there's a problem. I mean, I don't think any of us really has the total truth. I don't feel like I know for sure what the truth of anything these days is. You know, we're in the fog of war. Um I do know that the propaganda, the mainstream media, the fake news and all this, I know that they're, they're, they lie all the time, right? So I don't trust them. I do know that the healthcare system uh, is not there to look after our health or to improve our lives or to make us healthy. They're there for, for other reasons. Let's just leave it at that for now. The same can be said about school, you know, about the government. Um, nobody's really concerned with, with truth or with honesty or with beauty or making life good, right? So, so we don't really trust any of those institutions. At the same time, there's a bunch of conspiracy people that are saying really ridiculous things about reptiles and human cloning and aliens and flat earth and all this stuff. And even if some of that might be true, I don't know. I'm not saying it's impossible. Well, some of it is. <laughs> um, but my point is, you know, I don't know whether... I've heard about the adrenochrome. I've heard about the the massive human trafficking. You know, I don't know for sure how much of that is is true or real. I don't know for sure whether the military is in charge in the U.S., although it seems that way, you know. How could I know anything for sure unless I was directly involved? And the same thing goes for anyone watching the mainstream media or, or you know, reading the headlines from the, the corporate news sources and so forth. You don't know either. You, you just know that that source said that. <laughs> right. So it comes down to a, a question of like, um, you know, where's the evidence? If, if you if you express a different opinion about something, right, prove it. And I realize that's not that's not the way to go, because how can I prove something if all the sources that I've learned this about or from um, are blocked by Twitter and blocked by Facebook or, or censored as false news, even though I don't believe it's false. Right. There's enough reasons for me to believe multiple sources for long enough over time and my basic logic. I, I'm, I believe what I'm saying about something. But if I'm going, if you're asking for proof, I can't even post those links because they're censoring it, <laughs> right? Which is ridiculous. So that's not the way. And it's also not the way to get into debates, you know, and try to, to um, you know, uh, be more right and better and more intelligent than someone and make them look stupid and attack them. So this is a long way of saying that I think I found something that really works well and is the way to go in terms of we awakened people. How do we talk to other people who are still, um, who still believe in the false authority? Okay. So what I've been doing lately and it's been working like a charm is whenever there's a news story by some, you know, local news, news source or whatever, you know, for example, there was one where I lived where they, they said that, you know, 90% of the cases of, of coronavirus are this new deadly strain. And, and I, and of course, I don't know how to argue that. But what I did say is, uh, we don't believe you. <laughs> That's it. We don't trust you. We don't believe you. And, and then, uh, you know, today somebody was posting that, you know, we should all get the, the vaccine, you know, wash our hands and get the vaccine. And I said, I heard people are dying from that vaccine. I wouldn't trust that vaccine. I'm not going to take that risk, you know? And the guy says, well, I'm a physician. And I said, well, I don't trust physicians. We don't trust, we don't believe doctors. We don't trust the healthcare establishment. Okay. So you don't have to, you know, the wrong way to go would be to get into a debate with a physician because there's no way that anyone is going to crown you the winner of that debate when you're not a physician. But it doesn't mean, you know, that, that I have to know more about medicine. What it means is he has to earn my trust. 
The establishment has to earn our trust. The burden is not on us to prove science. The burden is not on us to prove exactly what happened on January 6th. The burden is on the institutions and the person arguing in favor of the institutions to earn our trust. It's like a relationship, right? So if you're in a relationship with someone who lies all the time, who who lies and cheats and you've caught them for sure, you don't trust them anymore. And and I've and I've for you know for 20 years I've been catching <laughs> you know these institutions and lies just on the surface, you know, the coronavirus, they've never even proven that more people are dying than any other year, like overall in any country. They should be tracking that, you know, the, the vaccine. If there were a vaccine of widely available, and, it, and if it truly were a vaccine, then I guess we, we can end the lockdowns and, and the masks because we'd be because whoever wants to get it can be immune. Whoever doesn't can take the risk. Everybody can be happy. There's no problem anymore. But obviously, it's not just from logic. It's not a vaccine. So what is it? What are they trying to do to us? Why are they making us wear masks um, when that doesn't even really stop anything from happening? What is going on? The point is they've lost our trust. And so we don't have to prove what is going on. We just simply have to say as, as awakened people, we don't believe you. And there's tens of millions of us. There's hundreds of millions of us around the world. We don't trust you. And I think if we could begin to just say that whenever somebody expresses one of these mainstream false ideas, you know, I don't believe Black Lives Matter and Antifa are for peace or, or you know, I just don't trust it as, as a genuine movement that really is, means well to improve the lives of minorities who have suffered. You know, it's not on me to, to prove anything. It's on me whether or not I trust it as a person. That's all we have to do. But to say that, you've got to you've got to humble yourself. You've got to lower your ego. You got to drop your ego because you can be laughed at. You can someone can, you know, can can say something nasty to you that you're an idiot that you don't even understand anything, right? So you've got to go into the battle with no ego and stand bef- stand behind it. Because there's no other way that we're going to to um have any impact, you know? When you see something false, some 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 illusion um, that someone else believes in, just say, "I don't believe that. I don't trust that source." And a lot of people agree with what I'm saying that we you know, they've broken our trust. I think that's powerful. You know, in talking with with your family and friends, I think too often we get caught up in trying to maintain our our ego. That no, I do understand the science behind it, but I disagree with the numbers. I looked at and I've looked at ten studies, and it tells me this. And I think you're trying to be right. You're trying to be better and prove something to and, and try to win an argument. And that's not the way to go about this. It's not about who's right. It's about trust. You know, it's about. Uh, do I trust that this institution or these people are trying to make our lives better, more beautiful, healthier, more, you know, more abundant? Obviously not. Right. So, so what would, so why would I trust that source? They're not giving us honest information or instruction. And, and the healthcare establishment has been making people very sick for a very, very long time with prescription medications. that have so many side effects with plastic surgery, just as one example, or I'm, you know, breast augmentation, for example, right? Harming people, doing terrible things to people um, with side effects. And, and you look at the institution, you look at doctors and nurses, they're not very healthy people, you know? Um, I get, you know, they sacrifice for a long time. The doctors spend just so many years working so hard, but it doesn't mean that I have to trust a person who's not trustworthy, who's not representing a trustworthy institution that has my best interest in mind. And I have every right to make that decision, and everyone has every right. It's, it's about your intuition, your judgment, and that's what's called free will. I mean, that's, what, that's the one thing you do have, is to decide what to believe and who to trust. And Awakening, the great awakening is what happens when, when more and more of us, until the vast majority of us, can just stand up and say, I don't believe you. 
and get them defending themselves. We don't have to defend ourselves. See, that's the breakthrough. I wanted to share that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, thank you for joining me in this kind of podcast. I will leave you with another song. Um, this one's kind of a silly song I did a couple of years ago on the album called Treetops. Enjoy. Spiritually unawake, drift into sleep on the softest bed on sheets with many threads thinking of everything I shouldn't have said These thoughts may leave me in sleep but now I can't get them out of my head Just spinning on endless repeat holding on to these worries and on to these fears that mean nothing not now or when we are done Spiritually half awake Drift into sleep On the softest bed On sheets with many threads Thinking of something I shouldn't have read These thoughts may leave me in sleep but now I can't get them out of my head Just spinning on endless repeat Holding on to these worries and on to these fears that mean nothing Not now or when we are dead This will kill me And I need to roll But I'm not sleepy because tomorrow, I'm still scared of tomorrow Spiritually unawake, drift into sleep On the softest bed, on sheets with many threads Thinking of everything I shouldn't have said These thoughts may leave me in sleep but now I can't get them out of my head Just spinning on endless repeat Holding on to these worries and on to these fears that mean nothing Not now or when we are dead This will kill me And I need to roll But I'm not sleepy because tomorrow, I'm still scared of tomorrow Tomorrow, I'm still scared of tomorrow Tomorrow, there must be something much greater than this